Hello everybody, this is program 123 again and today we are going to solve this problem named Don Porfirio. It is the third problem of this contest named CIIC, Ever American Correspondence Computing Competition. So I'm gonna leave you the link to the contest if you wanna see all four problems. You just have to, to log in. Now that you're logged in, you're, you're gonna be redirected to this to this screen in which you're gonna have four the four problems. So the one that we are that we are solving today is actually this one, the third one. If you wanna attempt all these problems, you just have to hit practice mode, which is that a uh, that yellow thing, or you can just go to the end, just like you were going to to submit some solution. Click, and you're gonna be redirected to practice mode. Okay, I am also gonna give you the link for that problem for that specific problem if you don't wanna see this contest page. Okay, I'm gonna give you the, the link for this specific problem. Okay, I leave you the code for this problem in the description. I also leave you the link to the repository in which I store in which I say every code that, that I explain in this channel. If you wanna take a look at it. I'm gonna submit this code as well. I'm gonna give you the link for for this specific code. Okay, so this problem was originally written in Spanish, but so you just have to translate this page. And here we are. It briefly it says that we are given a a, a tree in which every edge is assigned a beauty, and we say that a beauty for a we say that the beauty for a specific path is going to be the maximum beauty of all the, of all of its edges. We have to compute the sum of the beauties for all the possible paths in this graph. So in this example, we are given a graph with five nodes, and we are getting the the beauty uh, from the path from one to two. 1 to 3, 1 to 4, 1 to 5. So we get the beauty of all possible paths between two, between a pair of uh, nodes, and we add it and we get 17. And since the beauty of, since beauty of, it, of these edges is going to be at most 10, 10 to the power of 9, we are required to bring the answer modulo 10 to the power of 9 plus 7. Okay? This is a tree, so we are we only need uh, this value n that is going to be the number of nodes. So that basically that's the problem: the number of nodes, the list of edges in which the first two numbers are going to be the two nodes joining the, the two nodes joined by that edge, and the beauty of that edge. Okay, we have subtasks. In the first subtask, we have an n of at most 200. In this case, we can just run a DFS for every pair of nodes and get the, the beauty of that path, and that's it. We just output the answer. For subtax 2, we can do the same, going through all pair of nodes and getting the beauty of, of all these pairs, but with a, with a different method. Um, in my case, I did LCA technique to get the beauty in like constant, well, actually not constant time, but logarithm, logarithmic time. So I got a complexity of n squared in total, and that's how I got 40 points. But for the rest, 60 points, but for the remaining 60 points, how are we going to do it? For those of you who watch the video of the gate bridges, uh, I'm leaving the link in the description. We just have to to associate this problem with the gate bridges. We're going to think of the edges as bridges, and the order in which these bridges are going to fall down is in the order of, in the order of their beauties. So just transform this problem into the gate bridges, and you are done. For those of you who haven't watched that video, I'm going to explain the the solution, the general solution, right now. Basically, in a tree, every edge is going to join at least one pair of nodes. So every edge is a bridge. In in graph terms, every edge is a bridge. Okay. 
even the edge, even the, the edge with the smallest beauty is going to join a pair of knots. One may approach this problem by by getting the highest beauty and then running DFS from one of its endpoints, but that doesn't help a lot because you can do it once, okay, and you get a complexity of n. Um, maybe you are planning to go to the smaller to the smaller subgraph from those at from those endpoints, and that's okay because you 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 would get a, a total of n log n. But the thing is that you cannot actually know which side of the graph is smaller, so you cannot actually guarantee that you are going to that you are going to run DFS on the smaller side of the of the of the edge. To compute the number of nodes that is on that side of the edge, the number of nodes that is in the other side of the edge, and by multiplication principle, just multiply these numbers of nodes times the beauty of the of the edge. We cannot actually do that, uh, as I told you before, because we don't know which side of the graph is smaller. But we are good because we are applying mu multiplication principle. So basically the idea when applying multiplication principle is to get the number of nodes, the number of paths that this that this edge is going to ha is going to be in. So actually we are getting the, the the number of pairs that this edge is joining, but we cannot actually do that with uh, st starting with the with the greatest edge for for the reason that I have told you before. We cannot actually know which side of the edge is smaller, so we gotta think backwardly. What if we begin with the least beautiful edge that we have? In this case, the edge one two. It can actually be edge one one three as well. We don't care about it. But begin with the with the with the least beauty beautiful edge. How many pairs of knots is this going to is this edge going to join? Well, since we have an unconnected graph, we, since we have a disconnected graph, in this case we are going to join just 1 and 2. So, we have one, one pair of nodes that is going to have its beauty as 1, okay? Then, when we, put, when we add the, the edge 1, 1, 3, since it is the second least beautiful, we are going to see the size of the of the sub of the subtree that started with one, and we get that this subtree has had size size two. We are going to see the the subtree that started with one, and we get that this tree has size two because the edge one two was already present. Okay, so we are joining actually two nodes with just one node. So we get two nodes joined by a beauty of one, by a maximum beauty of one. Okay. When we add the edge two to four, we get that the graph that that started with two had nodes one, two, and three. So we had a graph of size three to in one side of the edge and a graph of size one in the other side of the edge. So we actually have four pairs of nodes that are joined by a maximum beauty of 2, okay? Those nodes, those pairs of nodes are 1, 4, 2, 4, and 3, 4. And the same when we add the edge to 5. So, how does this affect our solution? Well, what we were simulating before can be actually done with the with the data structure union find. Union find is joint sets. We can do that because we are adding these edges according to their beauty from the least beautiful to the most beautiful one. And when we do that, we can ensure that, that the answer that we are getting is the, the, the actual answer. With this way to think, we can actually do this problem in n times inverse of Ackermann complexity. How? Well, with union find, we declare our structure union find here. There is not not many explanation needed about this structure. Most of you actually know it. So 
we're going to get to the main function. So we're going to, to read the edges and the, the beauty of, it, of each edge and we're going to sort according to the beauty because we push the beauty in the first in the first element of this array the type iii is equal to a pair of long long and a pair of ends you see pair of ends okay so actually this is going to have the beauty of the edge and the two nodes that it is joining so we sort it from uh, increasingly and we declare our structure of union find. We start with the sum of zero, and we are going to send those parameters to our merge function, and we are going to be modifying our, we are going to be modifying the value of, of this variable summa in the merge function, and we alter the value of sum. How do we do this? How do we do this? Well, we just get the the size of the tree in the left side of the of the edge and the size of the tree in the right side of the edge and multiply it times the beauty of the of the edge that we are now taking and we get the modulo of, of what we just did and we call the the rest of the merge function so is this going to work of course we run it you see we get the answer 17 which is the one that we that we expected i'm sorry for this translation errors i cannot do anything about it i just encourage you to be careful about translations for example in this case it says that the that the output should be yes or not but since this problem is actually written in spanish uh, we Sorry, we have to show the original. So you see that the actual output is C or no. And that was my, my mistake since I, since in my code, I output yes in this code and that's, that wasn't actually required. But what they required was C or no. So in this case, I just changed that line to, to output C and we are we are done. So be careful with those translations. In this problem, it doesn't matter. In this problem, that doesn't matter a lot because, because we are working with just numbers. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful for you. Share it with those who need it and see you in another video. Bye bye.